Hey, welcome back to the channel. Steven here, and it has been approximately one year since I last created a video. And I think we all know probably why that was. It was so, it was so random, or not random, but kind of wild, like looking back at this channel uh, finally been able to get to a spot to where I can actually dust off the camera and get back vlogging again. And it was so strange uh, that it's been almost exactly one year since I last uploaded a video. And it's crazy to see that I was actually created a couple of videos like right when all the uh, shutdowns were beginning to happen. and. It was actually, it was just really strange to go back and, and see all of that, uh, those initial uploads of just a time in my life last year where I was actually trying to get a YouTube channel up and going. Um, and I think like most, most beginners, just like me, where you just, you're just constantly thinking, like, what do I create my channel about? What, what topic, uh, should I, should I try to dive into, you know, what, um, what should my channel be all about? And, um, uh, because mo most of us, the whole reason for starting a YouTube channel is like, like we have the dream of like making money with it. You know, we all, uh, dream of, uh, monetizing our content and creating something that people will love. And, and, uh, and today, uh, as the sun is shining and and um, uh, that we've that we're I, I, about three months into 2020 right or 2021 right now I'm sorry excuse me uh, I've I finally feel like I'm getting my feet back under underneath me um, uh, getting motivated uh, uh, the 2020 and the p pandemic. Uh, has been a struggle for all of us and uh, it feels so good to actually be be back making videos again it actually feels good really good to actually be uh, feel the motivation and ambition again to um, start creating channels <laughs> excuse me <laughs> see uh, start creating content and uh, going back to my initial thought, um, the beautiful thing uh, for 2020, going through all the lockdowns for me, was that um, life came to a standstill, and I really got to focus on what was most important for me, and that was my wife and two kids. Um, I remember initially when all the lockdowns were happening, it was all about it was all about productivity. I saw a lot of videos about being productive. Uh, I saw a lot of videos about like, hey, uh, now you have all this free time. You know, now's the time to start your business. Now's the time to start this and start that. You know, now's the time to, you know, work towards your financial freedom or. You know, now's the time to learn that hobby that you, you've always wanted, learn that skill. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I just remember that initially uh, that it was all about trying to be productive and, hey, take, it, take this opportunity to do what you want, you know. And for me, that didn't pan out. You know, I thought about that and I felt a little guilty at first that I wasn't super productive, you know, uh, starting to continue to uh, work on this channel or, or learn new skills. Um, uh, me personally, like, I love video games and I've been wanting to just dive in and tinker with uh, Unity game development. I've been wanting to learn how to draw, you know, uh, learning, learn how to get better at the guitar and all that kind of stuff, you know, and, and, uh, um, and you know, that just wasn't it for me, uh, during the, uh, 2020 lockdowns. 
um, I actually just let go. I just decided to chill and I focused on spending time with my, my two kids and my wife. And I made, it, I made my free time all about them and just serving my family. And that felt really good. I allowed myself to rest uh, during all of that time. And I don't know if it's just in America or just Western countries, but it's, it seems like we're all about productivity all the time. It seems like we're all about this hustle, um, hustle culture, this, you know, grind and tell you, you know, make millions or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just wanted, uh, one of the big things I wanted to share was that uh, for me, I, I literally spent a lot of time just playing video games with my kids, you know, playing Super Mario Brothers, Legend of Zelda, some of those classics, you know, just spending time on, on the Nintendo Switch with my kids uh, and wife during the lockdown. And it was absolutely amazing. And, and uh, I was able to focus on what was important, uh, you know, and it's, it, was, it was nice to have everything stripped away and just put on halt, if you will, uh, during that particular time. And um, yeah, and it's, it's been great. It feels really good to actually hit the record button once again on my camera and actually uh, talk a little bit just about whatever, you know. Um, my, my new perspective with this channel is I'm not worried anymore about what kind of content I'm going to create. I'm not worried anymore about, you know, creating like, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about chasing down a specific topic, you know. Uh, I enjoy making these little videos and it's just what I like to do for fun. And um, I'm looking forward to meeting more of you guys that are, that are watching these videos and hopefully, you know, they'll be entertaining or thought provoking or whatever, you know, I don't want to get like deep thoughts or anything like that on this channel because uh, the simple things in life are, are oftentimes the most fun and the most freeing, you know. Um, one thing I did want to share, I did watch a video from, one second, um, there's a channel that I uh, got to enjoy during the lockdown uh, that was really nice. Uh, the title of the channel is Life Where I'm From, and uh, it's a vlogger, um, uh, a video maker, YouTuber uh, from Japan. Uh, that it's actually it was really cool to watch uh, this gentleman uh, progress uh, in his filmmaking. Um, uh, over this last year, uh, he's gone from family vlogs to actually putting together like some really cool short documentaries. And uh, I think you guys, if you have any any interest in the country of Japan, um, the channel Life Where I'm From is an awesome channel that I've I've really enjoyed. And the video I watched today is how a Japanese town keeps it, it keeps its 800 year pottery tradition alive and it was it was a really inspirational little um documentary that actually like prompted me to pull out my camera and start making again uh there was a segment in the in the documentary where it showed um uh this i don't know what's the word guys what's the word um this master, yeah, master potter. Um, and in his collection was very, like, like perfect looking pottery, like in his art display uh, gallery of his pottery. He had perfect looking pottery. And then nestled in with it was like just really raw, almost like messed up looking pieces, really organic, like something like your, your four-year-old would make out of Play-Doh, but he had that in his uh, art gallery. This master potter had pieces that he had made that looked like something a four-year-old could have put together in his art gallery. And yeah, really, that just really spoke to me of just the contrast of the raw 
kind of messed up looking stuff against like what you can produce after a lifetime of work and effort of honing a skill and honing a craft. And that's what this video is all about today uh, is to encourage any one of you to start the YouTube channel uh, if you've if you've wanted to do that, if that's been your heart's desire, uh, a blog, whatever, um, uh, is just to start and continue to put things out there, continue to get your thoughts out there uh, in a very raw, unrefined format. Because eventually, after years of consistency, you will be able to put together uh, that masterpiece. Uh, your, your skills and your craft will come together. You will find what interests you the most and you will be able to really lean into that and dig into that once you discover that. Um, I, know, I know this is really rambly, so if you've stuck with me this far, just got a few more little thoughts. Um, uh, for me, Personally, I finally felt like I've let go of trying to overthink and analyze to figure out like what topics I want to cover, you know, what, what I want to make this channel about. I've decided that for me right now, it's more about getting in the habit of just creating a video, getting in the habit of putting my thoughts out there, sharing what I'm learning, sharing my experience and it'll be these these videos are going to be really raw um, in the beginning but i i believe and i know that uh, by continuing to do this by continuing to put my thoughts out there share my experience um, i'm going to discover like what topics really interest me the most and like what things i really really want to dive into uh, because if you're like me, sometimes it's difficult to nail down one thing that you want to work on, one skill that you be want to become really good at. And, and uh, for me, it's been helpful. I've, st I've started a little blog, again, just to put thoughts out there and to feel accomplished. And, you know, I've started recording on this channel again uh, one year later. See, haven't completely given up on it yet. <laughs> so anyways, uh, again, just encouraging you guys, it's 2021, uh, March. Um, it's never too late to start anything and it's never too late to continue uh, building on something and developing skills that you've always wanted to develop. Uh, it's never too late. And uh, you've, all, you've, got, you've got nothing but time and uh, hey, you got me here to hang out, hang out with too. So along in your journey. Um, so, Hey, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, definitely share some comments with me down in the comment section, uh, throw some questions out there and, um, uh, you know, I'd be more than happy to, 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 um, hang out with you guys in the comments. And, uh, I look forward to, putting out some additional videos and content just to get my thoughts out there and uh, continue developing skills. You guys do the same and enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.